Yo, what's good everyone? Today I'm going to be breaking down some of my favorite DraftKings plays for tonight's 8 game slate in the NHL. So let's get right into it. And we're going to kick things off here like we always do, highlighting these 8 games in the NHL tonight, showing you the money lines and over-unders. First set of games here, we got the Capitals taking on the Sabres, Panthers at Canadians, Penguins at Devils, and the Chicago Blackhawks taking on the New York Islanders. Next set of games here, we got Bruins at Predators, Senators at Wild, Ducks at Flames, and the Vancouver Canucks taking on the Vegas Golden Knights. And then here's a schedule update for this week. Got a video here today and Thursday for you guys. I'm also going to be breaking down each of those NHL slates on Wednesday and Friday in my Discord. If you have not joined my Discord yet, it is completely free to do so, and there's a link to join in the description below on this video. With all that said, let's dive into a couple of line stacks that I like here for tonight. Starting with that first line for the New Jersey Devils, where we got Heashier centering Meyer and Brad. Now, this line has been good together, and they can produce big numbers. They actually rank ninth out of 132 qualified lines this year in goals per 60 minutes, and I love the correlation we get with all three playing up on the Devils' number one power play. Catching a Penguins team at home here tonight, who did have a big win against the Rangers last night, but this is an older hockey team playing on back-to-backs, and they they really struggled as a team throughout the month of March. Plus, on top of that, it sounds like Tristan Jari is going to be starting here tonight. He's really struggled himself as of late, and he was also announced as sick by the Penguins yesterday, so he might not be 100%. And then a cheap line stack that I like targeting here tonight is that first line for the Calgary Flames, where we got Kadri centering Pospisil and Kuzmenko. Great matchup at home here tonight against the Anaheim Ducks, a team that's allowed 3.61 goals per game this year, the third most in the NHL, while having the league's second worst penalty kill hitting at just a 73% rate. On top of that, no other team in the NHL averages more minor penalties per game. The Ducks average over four and a half per game. We're going to see Kadri and Kuzmenko play up on the number one power play, which has actually been pretty good here for the Flames as of late, scoring at a 33.3% rate in their last five games. Now, folks, before we dive into some of my favorite individual plays here, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. Still trying to build this brand here at Sly Dog Sports, and every like, comment, and sub from you guys truly does help us out. And again, just want to mention I do have my Discord channel as well, which is completely free to join, and there's a link to join that in the description below of this video. If you can't find that link, just leave me a comment, and I'm happy to send you an invite there. All right, now diving into some of my favorite individual plays here. We're going to kick it off with the Fords, and I must say there is some really nice value across the board at this position, but if I'm looking to spend up, I like Kirill Kaprizov of the Minnesota Wild tonight. He's been on a heater really throughout the entire month of March. He's got seven goals, eight assists, 15 points, and 40 shots on net in his last 10, averaging 17.5 DraftKings points per game. And this Senators team that they're playing tonight has played solid as of late, but that team has really struggled defensively over the the course of the season and their goaltending has been very shaky. We're going to see Kaprizov play up on the first line and number one power play. Now when it comes to this Florida team, we could really roster anyone of Barkov or Hagee, Kachuk on any given night. You could mix in Reinhardt there as well, but he's a little more expensive than the rest of the crew. I went with Barkov here who's got six goals, six assists, 12 points, and 25 shots on net in his last 10 in a good matchup here tonight against the Montreal Canadiens who've allowed 3.33 goals per game this year, the 8th most in the NHL, while having the league's 10th worst penalty kill, hitting at a 77% rate. Now, getting into some of that value that I was talking about, Drake Batherson continues to offer some nice value here in the low 5k range. He's got 3 goals, 7 assists, 10 points in his last 10, averaging close to 11 DraftKings points per game, and probably playing the most consistent hockey of the season as of late, playing up on that first line and number one power play for the Senators. Now, dipping into the 4k range of players here, here we got Kurashev of the Chicago Blackhawks. He's got five goals, nine assists, 14 points, and averaging 12 and a half DraftKings points per game over his last 10. Playing up on that first line with Bedard, also playing up on the number one power play. Playing an Islanders team here who's also on back to backs. This team has allowed 3.30 goals per game this year, the 10th most in the NHL, while having the league's worst penalty kill, hitting at just a 72% rate. And then one of my favorite value plays here in the 4K range is JJ Paterka, the Buffalo. 
Buffalo Sabres, who has truly found his game up on that first line in number one power play, playing with Tage Thompson and Alex Tuck. He's now got five goals, 23 shots on net in his last five games, averaging close to 18 DraftKings points per game. Now, moving on to the defenseman here, and there's some nice value at this position as well tonight, but if I'm looking to spend up for defense, Roman Yossi of the Nashville Predators has been on an absolute tear as of late. Four goals, 10 assists, 40 shots on net, and 21 block shots in his last 10 games, averaging close to 20 DraftKings points per game. Needless to say, he's a very well-rounded defenseman who should log around 25 minutes here tonight, playing up on that number one power play and the penalty kill. I'd also be willing to spend up for Mackenzie Weger of the Calgary Flames. He's got three goals, five assists, 22 shots on net, and 33 block shots in his last 10 games, averaging close to 15 DraftKings points per game. Another very well-rounded defenseman, but I love the matchup at home here tonight and stacking him up with that number one power play for the Flames. Now, if we're dipping into the 4K range of players here, I'm not highlighting a guy who gets any time on the power play, but Caden Gooley of the Montreal Canadiens has been putting up some really solid DraftKings performances as of late. He's got two goals, four assists, 24 block shots in his last 10 games, averaging close to 11 DraftKings points per game. And again, he doesn't play any time on the power play, but does log big minutes on the penalty kill and should play around 22 minutes in general here tonight. And then wrapping it up there with some sub 4K defenseman plays. We got Forsling of the Panthers, McDonough of the Predators. We got Hughes and Nemec of the Devils, Fabro of the Predators, and then Chisholm there of the Minnesota Wild. And then I got a couple of goaltenders here for you. And if I'm looking to spend up tonight, Jake Allen of the New Jersey Devils caught my attention. Now, if we look at his season stats, they're not fantastic, but let's not forget he did play with the Montreal Canadiens for most of the year prior to being traded to the Devils, where he's been 5-3-0 and in his first eight starts with the save percentage of .920, goals allowed average of 2.64, averaging close to 17 DraftKings points per game. Let's not forget this Penguins team is playing on back-to-backs, and that's a team that loves to shoot the puck, ranking sixth overall in the NHL, averaging close to 33 shots on net per game. Now, if I'm looking to save some money at the goalie position, I won't lie, Charlie Lindgren of the Washington Capitals stuck out to me, as did UC Soros here, the Nashville Predators. He's been great here in his last 10 games, going 7-1-2, and two, and that's really the case for the Nashville Predators in general. They are now 16-2-2 two and two in their last 20 starts, so I like Soros and his upside here tonight, especially in tournaments. And as always, going to wrap up these DraftKings plays here with three low-priced options or sub-4K forward plays. First guy that I got is Vladdy Tarasenko of the Florida Panthers. He kind of bounces around throughout their top three lines, but needless to say, he's offering some really nice upside, and we saw that last night, actually, where he scored a goal, had two assists, and put up 27 DraftKings points. Next guy that I got is Connor Garland of the Vancouver Canucks, currently playing on that second line with JT Miller, as well as the number one power play for the Canucks. He's shown some really nice upside as of late too. And then Riley Smith was playing with Crosby and Rust up on the first line for the Penguins last night and also playing down on the number two power play. I like the value as long as he's going to remain on that first line tonight with Sid and Rusty. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap up this video here for today. As always, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch the content here on this channel. If you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. Let's have ourselves a great day here, folks. Let's win some money on this eight-game slate. And in the meantime, I'm out of here.